hey collectors welcome back so here we are at target this is my first stop i was really sad that these balls outside they didn't have the curvy thing on them um but let's get into it so i was just looking at these stands because sometimes um i like well not that stand that stand was shaped kind of weird but i like leaving some of the pops that i have out on stands like that or some of the tokidokis that i collect um, I did walk to the back of the tech section. There was nothing there But I also like to walk around these little sections because they have Many sections of pops. I don't know why but they do here are the Harry Potter next to some Animal Crossing things This journal was the cutest thing ever you guys need to vi uh, visit my village. It's not done But it's pretty cool and I've been working so hard on it <laughs> And I have no visitors except when they're in the camp thing but there was nothing in those boxes and looking at this target it looks a lot like the target that I was at yesterday um, you know your regular TLC Star Trek um, there's some Batman ones I was looking for the chase and some pops are damaged that breaks my heart <laughs> Um, did you guys collect any of those big Harry Potter ones? I think they look really good all put together and looking at these pins I feel like a lot of other targets probably didn't get their pins because they're all at this target And I've also seen a lot of people get these Hello Kitty things I was thinking about it, but I kind of want the cuff ones to put like on my steering wheel in my car um, I kind of didn't want that one. So I skipped that on that uh, and I let go of Pokemon cards, but they had a really nice selection and I haven't seen a treasure box like that. I think it has seven packs in it. I'm super glad they're stocked. You know, there was a one point where there was literally no Pokemon cards at the store at all. Um, I feel like buying cards to me was starting to feel like I was gambling. You know, I wasn't getting a lot of full arts or anything anymore so I stopped so I came to Walmart and I was looking at some of the pins that they had I'm not sure if these are new um, but I'm not too big on WWE but just wanted to show you guys because this one had a little bit of glitter in it I thought it looked pretty cool and the thing that I just don't like about Walmart are those big security things I feel like they damage the box condition a lot and I don't know I just really don't think it's worth it so this Walmart was kind of like yesterday's Walmart they don't have too much um, but I feel like they do restock more often here than they do over there um, that's why I gave it a shot but let me know what time you guys think is a good is a better time to look for pops like after 12 in the morning i feel like this walmart doesn't you know come to work and want to restock right away so <laughs> i feel like maybe in the afternoon who knows and last but not least i came to gamestop and they have a lot of nice common pops i feel like they're getting their shipment in and i feel like they're putting out everything that they have so i'm really happy to be seeing a gamestop nice and stocked um, I was coming in hopes of finding the Inusoke with the t-shirt bundle because I had pre-ordered too like I want to say last year in like November or before I don't even know how long it's been that long but we still haven't got him and I feel like everybody else has so I'm just coming in checking whenever I can uh, but this GameStop has a really nice selection of pops and you guys don't forget to walk around the store just because they don't they have other sections where they do put pops at um, so I always love taking a look I feel like that mimic has stayed there because of box condition but yeah um, I always get my socks from GameStop I love their Animal Crossing ones but you guys stay tuned because this weekend I will be heading out to WonderCon and it's my first one so...